switching on the microphone. Tapping on the table. We'll use this uh, channel here, dragging it to the, over here, to the uh, emission of the material. Drop it, increase it, and make it equal. And then look at the cube. When we tap on the table, We can alter the color um, down here, going back here, if we um, see the, the higher frequency sounds are here, and we can drag that over here to the, the red channel and drop it there, set it to equal, and then hissing, can bring out the, <clears throat> the red, let's hook it into the, uh, uh, hook it into the emission value also. Okay, uh, all the cubes are hooked up to uh, uh, hooked up to the sound to the microphone. Tapping on the table. Let's turn on the physics. And let's um, let's hook the game pad up to. The, uh, down here we have the there's software synthesizer. If we uh, this uh, this axis registers over here, and we'll just drop that onto the the note that we played. And now, when I press here, we can also hook it up to a button. If I press this button here, it registers over here as the first button. So if we drag this button to a, a different note um, and then we press the button over here we you can change the um, the the patch the, uh, the musical instrument Another thing we can do is use, right now we're driving the synthesizer with the game pad, but we could also use the sound detection itself to drive uh, music. So I'm going to take um, this channel here and drop it onto uh, another note. And we're getting a, a feedback loop from uh, using sound detection to drive the sound. Let's take one of the beats. 
Um, this beat will drop it into a higher note. can just tap on the table to activate the synthesizer now because the synthesizer activates on sound input. Let's play the guitar a little bit. Focus on me. Thank you. 